hello today i'm here with a new video and if you don't know who i am my name is lisa i'm a cruel for youtuber that's trying to be along no by and today it is time for my fourth part in my melt theme week or my second halloween week and i'm using the waiting room palette that was melt's holiday collection 2020 and it looks like this. So this is one of the build use palettes. And can you see anything? Like my ring light is reflecting. Maybe if I hold it like this. Yeah, so this is the red and gray palette. And I was like, okay, maybe I should do a gray look. Because I haven't used these two grays. But you know what? I do not want to do a gray look. So I'm going to do a red look. I'm going to use the shade that I've used the most in this palette, I think. Oops. And, uh, yeah. I guess we just get started. So I'm going to just prime my eyes and do my red look. Because I love red eyeshadow. And this is red eyeshadows on this. So it's going to be a red look. And I'm actually planning on doing a halo. So I'm going to do, hopefully, a really easy look. So I'm just thinking, maybe this brush isn't a good brush. I haven't cleaned my brushes yet. I was going to do it yesterday, but for some reason I did not. And like, I have used so many like really colorful shades the latest. So all my brushes are like, they are pink and they are green and they are purple and black and yeah. But with the color swift, it might. It seems good. So I'm going to do. I think I want to use this No Exit and this Livia. This Livia is the shade that I've used the most in this palette, but it's just an amazing shade, so I want to use it. So I'm going to start with a No Exit on my outer and inner part, and I hope that these will go good together with Livia. I don't know if I've used this no exit. I have no idea. Maybe not. Can it snow? I don't know if I should have taken softening in my crease. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I do whatever I feel like. And I'm so happy that you seem to like this week um it has been really fun to use my melt palettes again because it's not palettes that i use a lot maybe not all like palettes have been okay so far all the looks i think has been good um you have seen smoke sessions vida and muerte and yeah, maybe I wasn't like super happy with the Vida look, but it wasn't like super bad. Okay, this shade is really, really nice. Can you see anything? And like, I excuse how I look today. My hair is so freaking dirty, but I'm going to, uh, I never know, is it hairdresser? In English. I'm going to cut it tomorrow and she's going to wash it so I didn't want to wash it today so I was just like okay I'm going with a super disgusting hair <laughs> and first I was like maybe I should wash my hair before but what's the point if she's washing it it's not like super disgusting but it's not like that fresh if we say it like that like my bangs is full of dry shampoo I do use a lot of dry shampoo now when I cut bangs and I guess that like a lot of people that have bangs do that and also my bang is getting like a little bit too long for me I don't like it this long but uh, I was like eh. if I'm going to a hairdresser it's not like a point to uh, cut it myself before if I'm going there I'm going to pay money to have my hair cut you can also cut my bangs 
so I'm guessing in the last video for this week, tomorrow, you are going to see me with a new hair. Maybe, if I go through with it, but I think I will. I okay, think something like this. Just that I don't know, like... Why do I say like all the time? I'm so, so sorry. I don't know if I like it up here. If I maybe try to blend it a little bit. This is a really nice red. Reddish purpley. I don't know. I don't know what kind of color this is. Maybe something like this. And I do want to cut my halo because I want it kind of... Okay, I don't want shimmer all over my face because it is annoying. But you know the problem? I haven't washed my, washed my brushes. I have no brush to cut my crease with. I don't know if this one or this one. I think this is too flimsy. Maybe this one. This is from Kaleidos. This is the S4. So I'm going in with my little glitter primer from NYX. Yeah, I'm going to try to wash my brushes after this. Because... I do really need to. And that is one thing I don't like with using so bright colors and pigmented shadows. The brushes get like dirty right away. Okay, this brush actually worked really good to cut my crease or to cut this little halo. I'm going to tap it. And then I'm going in with this Olivia. I don't want to close my eye where I have cut this and we are praying for this to look good together. Maybe not the best combo these two because this Livia is kind of a bright red and the no exit is more to the purpley side. I guess it's working. Okay, I'm going in with <laughs> this one, Dante's Inferno. Dante's. 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 In Swedish, his name is Dante. Dante's Inferno. And just take it. A bit like here to blend it together. Oh, this brush did pick up a lot of shade. Okay, what is going on? <laughs> what have I done with this makeup? This seemed so easy in the beginning, but like now. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, it may work. I will go in with the no exit, the matte shade I have, and try to have a little bit on my brush. And take it up here. Like having something in your crease, I don't think it's like always necessary when you're doing a halo. But sometimes I do like it. And do I look a little bit crazy? I don't know if it looks good or if it looks... I don't know. If it looks good or if it looks craziness. I have no clue. But I always think like when you're doing something really dark, which this is, you need like your base because it looks strange with no like under eyes, no mascara, no lipstick and no base. That's what I think. Um, I just think it looks a little bit off. 
But this might can be a look. I guess I just have to do this eye and my base and we have to see like if this... Can I stop saying like? I'm going to do the other eyes. Uh, the other eye as well. I only have two. The other eye as well. Do my base and then we will see if this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing. So I'll fix that and then I'll come back. This is the finished look and I do really like it. I did pop this one. Sandworm, the white one in my inner corner, which I really do like. So I did use No Exit, Dante's Inferno, Lydia, and Sandworm, and I do like this. I do though think that um, Lydia would have gone better with this shade because this is kind of this and Dante's is more like the same undertones, but. I still do like it for my waterline. I did use Honey Dude from Colourpop on my face. I did use Ombra, Buskill from Melt and Ozone from Nabla. And on my lips I did use Rapture from Lethal. Of course, this is like my favorite red. And yeah, I think this all looks good. I don't think it looks as crazy now when I have everything else on as it did without my base and everything. So I do like this look. I maybe don't think it was like the best choices with the matte and everything, but what's done is done and I have nothing to complain about. And uh, I don't know about this palette. I do love me a good shimmery red, which Lydia is. It is a really, really nice shimmery red. But it's like the same as with other melt palettes I have. I don't think it's that special and I know that this is special to me because it is Beetlejuice and it's one of my favorite movies and I just love Beetlejuice so I know that is one of the reasons why I love it and why I did buy it and I guess if you maybe haven't seen the video or if like melt isn't a thing for you I guess that this palette isn't like something super special a couple of years ago I think it was hard to find like good reds and especially shimmer reds but now I think they're pretty common so yeah I think like this palette was more special when it came out in November 2020 I don't know but I think it was more special than than it is now so yeah that was all for this video. I hope that you have liked it and tomorrow it's going to be the last day in my melt week and it's going to be with the recently deceased and I still haven't decided if I want to do a green look or if I want to do a purple look. We will just have to wait and see and um, yeah. I will see you tomorrow hopefully and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos. Bye!